there were already enough reasons for Canelo Alvarez's return to the ring on November 6th to be considered must-see TV. Alvarez, boxing's pound-for-pound -pound king and the sport's biggest pay-per-view brand, will defend his trio of 168-pound world titles against unbeaten IBF champion Caleb Plant in Las Vegas. The Showtime pay-per-view main event will crown the first four-belt undisputed champion in super middleweight history. Yet that's not exactly what everyone is focused on entering the fight. It's champion versus champion with Canelo Alvarez versus Caleb Plant. A September 22nd press conference to announce it got surprisingly hairy when Plant unflinchingly criticized Alvarez and his team for PED use. Why don't you have the balls to work hard without testing positive for illegal substance? A wild skirmish ensued causing a cut below Plant's right eye. You don't know on my level. November 6th, you will hear the words in the new undisputed super middleweight and still undefeated. Plant remains a heavy underdog despite owning the one dominant skill, elite hand and foot speed, that has the best chance to give Alvarez trouble. And you will see November 6th. You don't want to find out. I promise you. That old saying, you know, the one about not poking the bear, plants defiant actions have caused a typically mild mannered Canelo to predict a knockout. Okay. We'll find out what happens Saturday night. Most fighters don't even look like this on the scale. Only on Showtime pay per view. That's right. It's pound for pound king Canelo Alvarez against the undefeated Caleb Plant. It goes down Saturday night, MGM in Las Vegas. Winner becomes the undisputed 168 pound champion, the first in the four belt era. And as documented, they came to blows. Gotten it started a little early at the press conference in September. Now, as for the odds, despite being a formidable test for Alvarez, he's a massive favorite, minus 900, meaning he's about a 90% chance to close the deal. Let's bring in the crew. There he is, BC, Brian Campbell, and Luke Thomas. Love having them aboard. Uh, BC, I'm going to start with you. In a fight like this, you always say, ah, well, how can an upset happen, right? We have a favorite, we have an underdog. How can the dog win? The dog's going to have to be on the move. That's what Caleb Plant does well. The problem with Plant, and maybe when you look at those odds, is he just doesn't have anywhere close to the same experience level that Canelo Alvarez does, who's faced every kind of opponent. So for Plant, we're banking on a very small sample size of elite toil, but what we've seen is he's explosive. He's a little bit more pure boxer than puncher, for sure. Doesn't carry big knockout power, but he puts those punches together quickly, gets out of trouble, darts in and out. A smart boxer, also an aggressive one, meaning he's going to do what he has to do to give himself the best chance to win. We just don't know if he's on the same level in those certain attributes as Canelo and if that speed can give him enough of an advantage to keep away from the bigger puncher. Yeah, I mean, while I would not say the case for Caleb Plant is implausible, it is certainly improbable. I mean, the way in which he boxes is very, very interesting. He boxes at range. He t uses tons of feints and fakes. He likes to double up on the same side. He likes to go to the body, but all at range, all moving his feet, all in quick combination, getting in and then getting out. It's a very formidable skill set, but it's nothing that Canelo hasn't seen before. And also, Canelo is quite durable. So his path to victory for Caleb Plant is going to be leaning into his strengths. He doesn't have a lot of different gears. Candidly, my view is that something has to either be wrong with Canelo or Caleb Plant has to really kind of level up, even while he is quite good, past what we have seen, even for that skill set as good as it is to take him all the way to victory. It is possible, but it's a bit of an uphill climb. All right, Luke, let me follow up on that. Um, from a Canelo standpoint, how will he approach this fight given what you just said? And obviously he knows he's a big favorite in this one. Again, there's a couple of different ways in which Canelo can do this. Remember, Canelo is skilled at a few things that folks will point to, but he has a lot of different places and gears to go to. If he wants to be the bull, he can. If he wants to be the matador, he can. If he wants to chase, he can. If he wants to corner you in the ropes and then fight in close, he can. He can win the fight in all of these different ways. You see, when you begin to tally in that particular direction, you can see why Canelo is such a formidable opponent, not just for Caleb Plant, but for anyone of a similar size. So what I think he actually might do in 
this one is just take away the very foundations of what Caleb Plant needs. He needs time, he needs distance, and he needs a way for his trickery and his camouflage to work. I think backing him up is going to be key, and I think also even fighting a bit of that phone booth style is also going to be important. Last note, I would actually add, look out for body work. I think the body work is going to be important because Caleb Plant's head is going to be hard to hit, but the body will be there even as he begins to flee. That will wear on him over time. Yeah, there seems like there's like this inevitable transaction that's going to happen in this fight when Canelo Alvarez figures out how to deal with Caleb Plant's speed and movement and then begin to corner with those heavier type shots, whether they're to the body, whether they're to the arms, to be frank, like he did against Callum Smith to injure him, where he's going to start chipping away and it's going to speed up Caleb Plant's exit. The real unknown factor here is will that be early in the th first third or half of the fight? It's going to be a big win for Canelo Alvarez, or could that adjustment come late enough where maybe Plant is on the lead in the scorecards from boxing above what we think he can do and has a chance to go the finish and try to win a decision here against Alvarez. It's certainly more likely the former. And what Canelo Alvarez has to do is just keep touching him. He hits so hard, but he's also so precise. He's calm, yet doesn't do too little. He's really mastered this game in terms of efficiency. It's inevitable, it seems, once he starts landing clean, that the fight will end, even with Plant being this brave. It doesn't sound like there's a lot of value uh, on the favorite here. Uh, so might you want to take a shot with the underdog when you walk to the window? How are you going to play this one, BC? You got to go Canelo at the end of the day, and I'm trying to talk myself into it because I've thought from the first time Caleb Plant arrived on the boxing scene. I thought he had an interesting skill set that particularly could give Canelo Alvarez trouble because if the if there's one opening or lane to try to have success, it's a mover, somebody with speed. But it's just that Canelo has sort of closed all the gaps in his game. So, look, could he catch a bad scorecard? He seems to be due, right? Canelo Alvarez seems to always get the benefit of the doubt. This is boxing. There's bad luck. There's corruption. There's a lot of things going on in boxing. Yeah, you never know. Throwing a couple bucks on a plus plant in this situation, he's probably going to over exceed what we think or what the betting odds are telling you. But can he win? Not against this version of Canelo Alvarez. He can do it all, beat you in any way. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I've talked to and sort of read around and looked at videos and just kind of immersed myself in what are the people who live and breathe and die boxing? What are they saying? Particularly like trainers, right? Other boxers. What are these people saying? And what you get is a pretty charitable view for plants' chances up front, right? They think that the first three, four, sometimes even six rounds could be actually quite difficult for Canelo. It's that part down the stretch. So, you know, at minus 900 for Canelo, is there a ton of value on him for betting? You know, I don't know. There could be some uh, interesting parlays about how long it goes or about what it looks like up front. In that sense, there actually might be a ton of value on Plant or uh, Canelo, depending on what you're looking for. But over the totality of it, the inevitability of Canelo is just something that constantly rings true no matter who you talk to in Las Vegas. All right. I do like the fact that we have a little unification to use a pun on how you guys want to play this with a nice little payday at plus 1400 if that's the way it goes down with Canelo in the 10th round TKO so not only do both our guys do a great job breaking it down but they both called their shot very specifically and in the same way well done gentlemen all right you want more you need more we've got more morning combat there they are Luke Thomas BC it's daily. It's a great podcast. You download, you subscribe, you enjoy.